Welcome to, the the Welcome to the Screen Squad. Welcome to the installment of the Screen Squad podcast. Uh, podcast, video, stream, thing we do stuff. Video, Rookies. no one watches. Rookies yeah. says the guy that your... barely. <laughs> I, it's just scratching my balls right now. It just smelled weird. Well, there goes the money. You have to wait. Remember we said ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes before you do anything dumb like this. Well, first of all, it's not. It's it wasn't curse words. You said curse words. Same difference, same difference for children. You're talking about basketballs in, gen- in general. Yeah, my my basketball smelled weird in genitals. <laughs> well, happy Independence Day, Fourth of July today. Wow, man, the aliens still have not shown up. Aliens still have not shown up. You know I mean, why, right? I mean, <laughs> but why? They're I showing up. Know. They're showing up. Because they build the wall. Uh, no, they didn't. They never did. Um, the see-through wall. Yeah. The one with like the like you can still pass through things through the wall. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Which is so stupid. I like the Matrix. The uh, it's a waste. It's a waste of money. So 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 Independence Day, right? The the movie where Will Smith slaps like aliens. <laughs> what, is, <what's, laughs> what is it with that? He, that man needs to stop slapping people. Yeah. Just one time, but he they, the aliens deserved it. Just because he tried to scare him. Ooh. <laughs> then smokes a cigar. Then again, over. then again, in, 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 what in, a jerk. Then again, in Men in Black, which is twenty Drake. by was it twenty five years now since Men in Black came out, the first one. Mm-hmm. This is twenty fifth anniversary. He still smacks him today, uh, right? Because it's, it came out Fourth of July. Remember, this used to be Big Willy Weekend. Yeah. Big Willie Weekend, so you get Men in Blacks twenty five years they ago. They used to be some different back in the days. And then, it came uh, out, yeah. Then this one came yeah, out. Yeah, he's then, a he's a Fourth July kind of guy. And then this one came out in nineteen ninety six. So this one, so this, uh, this one's what? Yeah, never forget. Independence Day, never forget. <clears throat> so uh, this this one, this this one is uh what? How many? How, how many? Ninety six. I don't know. It's it's more than twenty five. <laughs> I can't do math right now. It's too early. <laughs> it's too early, guys. 96 is carried to 1, 11, yeah. 10. Release date, July 3rd. July, yeah. For, uh, so this this movie, mm. this movie's 26 years. Yeah, and you know what? 26th year anniversary, and then Men in Black is 25th because it's Big Willie Weekend. We don't talk about um, Wild Wild West, but. You do you know, all the time. Why, why not? Because it's should Wild talk Wild about Wild West. West. We do. I do talk yeah. about it. It's that good. Yeah. That's a good song. Cisco Stilo. That's a good yeah, song. Cisco at his prime. Kevin Klein. I mean, Cisco in his prime. I mean, <laughs> I guess. No, but so so. Okay, Men in Black. The, back back in is, what? Yeah, they, you can sample a uh, song and you, you know make you had, money. You had you have you have Independence Day, then you have Men in Black. Then you have other movies that he that like. Then you have like the Bad Boys movies, but all, majority of it for from this movie on, it was July Fourth weekend was known as Big Willie weekend, right? That's when the Will Smith for a while. movies. Yeah, for yeah, even then you could still say it's Big Willie weekend. He, he just hasn't had a movie that's opened up like this since because he's been make he was making some of all of those uh, art pieces trying to get that Oscar. Well, after he after got it, it, he got it. I know he finally got yeah. it. He got it. Which which I called it, but okay. He got it and gave Every, it. Everybody called it. You, you're you not special. Oh, no, but... Uh, it's, not it. like, it's not like you say... I called it way before the movie came out. Whatever. Like, oh, he's going to ask for this one. Did it's... you see it? But King Richard? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? No, I didn't. I never saw the second it. it came out. I never saw it. Yeah. I know it was, no, on, I I know it was on HBO Max. I never saw it, though. I just no, saw the second it came no, out, and I was like... I was like, yeah, it, was, it was all right. It was cool, but I mean, it's like... They missed yeah. a lot of stuff in that, like... Like and they, br- they briefly glanced uh, glanced over the whole glossed how over. his they I say glanced I know but it's, it's glossed no gloss over it, it's, it's both they glossed they over went... it they glossed over it because you gloss over something yeah. I'm not what? A, I'm not a fan of tennis yeah you know I don't mind tennis you know, uh, you know it's okay you know what tennis movie was good Wimbledon Oh, <laughs> uh, damn Kirsten uh-huh. Dunst and or McEnroe or, and Mr Deeds or or Match Point. <laughs> Did you ever see Match Point? Uh, the, the 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 one where no. that guy kills the chick or whatever. 
No. I think Kirsten Dunst is in that one too. She makes she, a... she did a lot of tennis movies. Hmm. Two. Paul Bettany. Just do they do cheerleading at a uh, tennis? Paul Bettany's in Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Yeah, that's right. He is in Wimbledon. Yeah. Whatever. He's the, he's the up and comer that comes up in his movie. That's been there forever, but he still hasn't been there for too long. He doesn't sound Never. anything. He doesn't sound anything like that. Oh, he doesn't. What are you, all. Oliver? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like much, Michael oh, Caine. Oh, Jimmy Sweet, sir. Jimmy Sweet. No. No, but again, Michael again, Caine. again. Mm-hmm. This movie solidified at least started started the um, the Big Willie Weekend stuff because this movie it, didn't go on and make a make a good chunk of money, and some horrible sequels. Mm. I mean, you seen it? It, really, two, really. I believe there's two sequels, right? I know that there's a the Resurgence Ugh. with uh, Liam Hemsworth, and then isn't there another one? I swear, I thought there was another one. No, I, ID five. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. But wait, how did how's it? How's it? Wait, wait. You said there's two more, but you went to five. I, ID five, Independence Day. ID four, Independence Day, July fourth. So obviously, the next number above four is five. Everyone knows that. The it's day after Independence Day. Stupid. Ugh. Yeah. Just makes movie. it just makes math sense. <laughs> uh, but I mean, this movie did catch people like off guard. Who do you who knew that you were gonna be able to make an, a movie about aliens, and have you know, uh, like, have Will Smith and you have Bill Pullman. And you have it up, have the aliens take like destroying. First of all, do True. not do not do not skip over. Uh, uh, Vivica A. Fox. No. Um, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, yes, there you go. Judd Hirsch. Who else? Having those eyebrows. Holy the, crap! The other the other <laughs> little boy from uh, that was also on um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nick Nicky played his brother in the show, but he played his his, uh, his adopted son in this. Well, he didn't fully adopt them. You know what I mean? Then there was, there was Harvey Har- Harvey Firestein. Harvey Firestein's in the movies. I gotta wow. call my mother. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotta watch uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mulan. Yeah, and Mulan too. No, but so so of course this is this is directed by um, Roland Emmerich, right? That went on and directed. He did a whole bunch of movies that are kind of in the same vein of world destruction. After this one. Did you do 2020, uh, 2012? Uh, he did 2012. He did 2012. Um, the After Tomorrow? I, of course, that sounds like him. Yeah, that right. sounds like it's something that he did. Um, 2012. I know he did 2012. He did... What Man, else? you know what I missed? I missed Earthquake. Remember he back al- in the 80s? He also did the Good sequel movie. to this movie. Okay. Well, yeah, he yeah did, there's he did only research. two of them. There's no three. Sorry. I, swear, I swear I thought that was there. He did, he did, he did the horrible 10,000 BC. <laughs> I mean, he... Okay, he made Universal Soldier though, so there's that. That, that that's the only that's like this one, the Independence Day and Universal Soldier are pretty much the only ones that I would give like really good credit to, because all the rest are, have been like he did Godzilla, the Matthew Broderick Godzilla. That soundtrack's pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that sound- one P Diddy song. Yeah, well, well, was actually and and, he, and and it was heroes by the by like the the, the cover by the wallflowers. Yeah. He did the Patriot. Oh, that's a good one too. Him. That's a good one too. Yeah. But the, the 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 director's cut is better because it's longer. The Mel Gibson uh, cut. Yeah, the Mel Gibson he, cut. Where he just goes on a rant and starts like cursing at everybody. Yeah, and it's, and it's extra <laughs> violent. And there's like Jesus. Jesus is in it for some reason. It's it's a it's a close up of the floor and all his foot goes bam. I like it. Then. The end. The end. The end. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Speaking he, of Independence Day, but he did so. He, so he did the day after tomorrow, ten thousand BC, twenty twelve. He did White House Down, which is not a bad movie, not great, but that's Chen Tatum and Jamie Fox. First of all, Mister Tatum, Mister Tater Tots, and um, Jamie Fox. He did Midway, which is C-tops. not that great. I mean, there's only like that was okay. Midway wasn't wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but it, it, it only the, the good the best the best part of Midway was. You know when they attacked Midway, like when like, I mean, just like Pearl I mean, Harbor. The best part of Pearl Harbor is when they attacked Pearl Harbor in the movie. In the movie, the five in the hours movie, of romance. In the movie, not in real well, life. In the movie. Well, well, first of all, the worst part of the movie was Nick Jonas's accent. 
Hey, what are you talking about? Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, hey, you're, yeah. Doing, you're doing all really bad. Hey, enjoy it. It's a me, hey. Nick Jonas. That's how he said it. <laughs> That's how it was. And he had the little mu- the pencil mustache. Yeah, which is weird. But, yeah. That, he, the that, worst part was, was Nick Jonas. He had that John Waters. And I like Nick Jonas. But worst part was Nick Jonas. Yeah. I mean, the whole movie wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. But again, the best part of these of these the best part of the movies that he makes, that Roland Emmerich makes, are the, the destruction. Is if there's always some sort of ad destruction, except for like White House Down doesn't have like a big White House explosion. It just has a bunch of explosions of cars and helicopters and stuff like that. But it's it's a decent movie. Patriot doesn't G- have G- Fox. But see the thing is about the pa- I think out of all of these movies, the different the, the one movie that's completely different to all of them is the Patriot because that one doesn't it, it, have any. Well, no, like no, that. no, because it, it has these uh, epic scope uh, like gun battles or just battles in general yeah that's but, what that's his, not, his, but there's no world the, the explosions that you don't you don't need well, all that world if, explosions well no look at, just, look at all look at all the movies that he's made that's what i'm talking about no no that's what i'm talking about i'm not talking about the movie i'm just talking about all out of all the movies he's made majority of all of them have like some sort of like city destruction building destruction <laughs> world destruction they all like interchangeable they're very michael bay Ooh. Like interchangeable, like some of the stuff that he does, like 2012, you can do the same thing with like Independence Day. Like he did the same thing in Independence Day. Stargate also is different. You know, he did Stargate. That was that was a different type of movie. Right. It's cool. Universal Stargate's Soldier. Cool. Universal Soldier is another one where there's not no building explosion. But that again, that comes. All those movies came before Independence Day. As soon before as, he gave him money. As soon as. Yeah. As soon as Independence <laughs> before Day Before he gave comes, him some real money to play with. As soon as Independence Day came, all of a sudden you have. Like everything being everything exploding day after tomorrow, everything exploding. Twenty twelve, everything exploding. Right. I mean, so not like, fair. I mean, I think every director has has that. Like it, when you when you make your your smaller uh, budget film, people go, "Oh, we love it, love it, love it." Let's give you a bunch of money, and then you go, "All right, let's go extravagant. Let's blow and everything then, up." Yeah, I'm like we gotta waste this money. Mm, I guess. So, but, I mean, look at Tim Burton. What about Tim Burton? He made but, Big uh, Fish. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I'm waiting uh, for Beetlejuice goes Hawaiian. <laughs> you ain't gonna get this movie in the soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. So so we so okay. <laughs> Don't pass out. That was so, a blip. So in they the, got beamed up. <laughs> yeah, so in the so Independence Day, right? <laughs> they send them back. I was like, whoa, <laughs> wrong <never> one. Blah, blah. <laughs> 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 so okay so independence day is relatively it, like it is it's 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 a it's the simple plot i mean aliens come to pretty much destroy earth that's all it is and you have you have you have three men risking their lives pretty much because everyone else is inconsequential apparently in this movie uh until until you meet like will smith jeff goldblum and uh, bill pullman randy quaid no randy quaid Oh, he yeah. goes up the butt he's of the hero. aliens. He goes up the butt of the alien. He's the real hero, really, realistically. Yeah, just he's yeah, the one that the he's the one that does everything. Because and then he and then he went crazy. Then the, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he, <laughs> he was abducted by you aliens. He does he does bang a pie too in uh, not another mm-hmm. team movie. Two of them. Yeah. Uh huh. Two of them. Bam, sisters. Um, but but yeah, no, it's like you have aliens coming and they just the first like. They start destroying the White House. They, they start killing people. It's not even abductions. They're just destroying things. And you get you get Will Smith's character that le- le- flies a spaceship. Well, he flies planes. Right, very Maverick. Flies a sp- very Maverick style. No, no, no. There's only then, one Maverick. That's Tom Cruise. That's right. I, that's I thought you style. were going to say uh, Mel Gibson. No, no. Oh, uh, you know that's he, a, he, that's, he, a, that's he, a damn good movie. He was, he was Maverick. Damn before, he was Maverick before t- Mel Gibson. Oh. I mean, no wait. Top Gun came uh, out before Maverick. Is it Maverick based on the show? But top, but Mel Gibson wasn't on that the show. Came out. But was Mel Gibson on the show? Was Mel <laughs> Gibson Gard- on the show? What? What? James was, Gardner was, wasn't. I think. But, but was Mel Gibson on the show? But James Gardner but, was. No, no, no. But Edgar specifically said Mel Gibson. So shit up. He was not on the show, and Maverick came out after Top Gun. So eat a bite. Born in Santa Monica, eat, California, by the way. Eat a ball bag. So. Who James Garner? No, uh, Mel, Mel Gibson. Gibson? No, he was not born in Santa Australia. Monica. He's Australian. No, 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 no. He was born in Santa Monica, uh, and that was raised in Australia. Uh, born uh-huh. in Santa Monica. Eh? <laughs> yeah. He's born in Santa Monica. Eh? You want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Russell Crowe? Now that's what he is. I mean, he was, he, he's Russell Crowe before Russell Crowe. 
Hey, what are you, Olivia Newton John? <laughs> bye bye, fuck yeah. Get him on that one. Shout out to Waddle Walk. So, 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 so you, ha- so you, so you have pretty much this movie takes place over two days, essentially, right? July second, and then July third, and it ultimately culminates in a July fourth uh, extravaganza of explosions and aliens dying and now this is one of the fights and. This is one of those cool sci-fi, sci-fi movies that people still like in pop culture like love because Bill Pullman's speech. It always gets quoted. The speech does, yeah. right? Like yeah, it's always. It's one of those. Uh, what is it? Tonight? Those guys get Sorry, you excited. Kind of, yeah, it's it's, oh, yeah, it's makes... one of the it's one of the big movie speeches of of all time. Um, but I mean, it's not a bad movie. Like Independence Day is it's it's, pop, it's one of those popcorn movies. It's it's like it's not something yeah. that I'll watch a bunch of times. But it, it's not flipping Shakespeare. I wouldn't even watch Shakespeare multiple times either. So, but it's again, it's like, man, Shakespeare love, man, that is hot garbage. So, anyways, <laughs> I really don't like that movie. God, oh, well. you're the Produced one. By. It's it's my goop, my bro. Who produced Who produced Shakespeare in Love? Ben Affleck? I don't know. I don't know. Probably Gwyneth Paltrow. Wasn't it Weinstein? Probably. It is a Miramax. Uh, it was a Miramax mm-hmm. movie. They like classy the films. Yeah, I like the piano. <laughs> hey, the trailer comes out soon. In two For days, I think. Clerk, Clerks 3? Yeah. Yeah, on Wednesday. Ugh. On Wednesday. What do you mean, ugh? It's supposed to be a finale or something. Come on. Everything's a finale of something at, at this yeah. point. When you make movies about, like, re- sequels of, uh, of like, He's old done, movies, bro. He's done. Nostalgia. I mean, this is the last movie he has. Yeah, he's done. I mean, I, I, I mean we're still waiting for the Dawn of the Mall Rats, but... <laughs> I'll watch that one, done. but other than that, he he he's all all the stories he's told is is pretty much done. He he's gonna have to start selling news stories. Mm. Uh, Tusk, Tusk, Two? weight loss, Red, weight loss studios. No, did you ever watch Red State? Red State was good. That was damn good. Those Red State was good. really good. Tusk is good. I mean, twenty four. Uh, Proper is it? Is it? No, I, I okay, get out of here with cop out. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of Bruce Willis. <laughs> no, not even. Tracy Morgan makes that movie. Yeah. I mean, but does he though? No. He does. No. Uh, I mean, it's it's, a, like... it's 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 okay, but it's not a, it's again, it's a, it's not a Kevin Smith movie. It doesn't feel like a Kevin Smith movie. But uh but still like only Clerks feels like a Kevin <laughs> Smith movie. What are you talking about? Like Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. That feels like no. a Kevin Smith movie. Dogma, Dogma feels like Dogma, Kevin Smith movie. Dogma feels like Chasing Amy. Dogma. Chasing Amy Dogma was good. Dogma was brilliant. Chasing Amy is good. Yeah, that's but this, good. But then, but then when you watch it, again, if you've never seen Red State, or uh, if you haven't seen Tusk, those are movies that are way different, way different than anything he's done. He went out of his wheelhouse and way, actually worked uh-huh. out. And that's why he, they were good. They were Red State was the, the first one of his uh, sting, right? Did he Red put State, his daughter yeah. in it? No, that was uh, Tusk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That, that, Tusk and then, uh, and then, then like Yoga Hosers. Yoga Hosers, which mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. also had Johnny Depp's daughter in it. Yeah. Lily Rose Depp, they play those two girls, but um, that's where those their characters get introduced in Tusk. Mm. But mm. but oh, but yeah, it's like he's like, they're de- they're decent movies. They're better movies like that when when he makes something that's way different. And that's the thing about like directors, not like Roland Emmerich, where he made Independence Day, then all of a sudden every movie's like Independence Day, and even the sequel, which you couldn't even bother to try and get Will Smith in the movie. Didn't they kill him off? I think in the sequel, like supposedly he I, died. I think I, I think he didn't want to. No, no, but they, so, they, so, they, so they ended up kill him, killing him off. You have to. I mean, yeah. why why give him a chance to come back? Come on, he'd be like, "All right, we're gonna make you get some more money." Well, okay? I mean, so we're, you know what I'm saying, get some more money. Okay, but saying? okay, but think of, think about this. According, like from what I was reading, is that originally it, the, the the part the Will Smith the uh, the Steve Hiller character right was going to be Ethan Hawke. It was offered Wait, in, this, to, in this movie in, Independence Day. In Independence, oh. it was going to it was, it was it was offered to Ethan Hawke, but even even Ethan Hawke said, "Well, this script was terrible," mm. so he he chose not to do it. You they they uh, they gave it to Will Smith, and then Will Smith's career like skyrocketed well, I mean, he, from this. He movie. was he was but uh, it, it's not he was it, already popular because of uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Yeah, but this is his first like big movie, like yeah, right. But major but then but if you if you think about it, with without without this movie. And, it, and the movie's not great, 
the movie's not great. The, 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 the fact that the, the movie did well is because of the special effects and because of the action. That's the reason why. The, and then if you, go, if you go back and you watch it now, the special effects, obviously, they don't hold up. They don't really hold up. No, a lot of movies like that, they don't. Because, because uh, they, this was 1996 special effects. Because if you 4K, it, it looks like, wow. That, this, is, yeah. is that, this is like... Is that, is that string? It's like watching Toy Story. <laughs> like, if you watch the first Toy Story now... Yeah. It's holy yeah, crap. Yeah, I was like, wow. That's, yeah. that's like when somebody first turned on the computer. Right? <laughs> so, like, it's the same thing with some of the special, some of the special effects in, the, in, in these movies. I mean, even then, I go back to the... Uh, we go back to the Ray Harryhausen movies, and I still like those special effects. I like the way they did those because it's, like, old, but... When I go back, when they started using CGI in movies, ew, it's 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 not that great. Like the Independence Day special effects, okay, I'll give it part. Part of it looks good. And then other parts, you can tell like it looks grainy and. The, on the miniatures blowing up are pretty good. Yeah, when it's practical, All right? Stuff, yeah. When it's yeah. practical, it's practical yeah. yeah. But the, when they bring in this, oh, I'm sorry, I'm boring you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, no, and the C, well, the, but the CGI portion, I mean, like it doesn't hold up, but that's the reason why people went to go see it. They went to go see it because of, they wanted to see the White House get blown up. They want to see all the all this stuff blowing up because I think the movie is what? Like, how long is the movie? Not long. 2.20? Uh, an hour, and four, yeah, an hour and 45 minutes, right? So, I'm going to say, 145 minutes, sorry. 145. Um, so... Will Smith isn't in the movie the whole movie. No. Like the the, the whole the movie's told in pieces and parts by different you know in different aspects. Different so you, characters. Yeah, you you follow different characters. Bill Pullman. Um, <laughs> Independence <laughs> Night. Um, you yeah you follow you follow and him. You find my wife. You follow you follow. And she's uh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> she done died, sir. The, the first lady. Then you, you follow you follow you Rand, you get Randy Quaid's character for just a bit, but he does end up mm -hmm. saving everyone. Will Smith's character, the true hero. Will Smith's characters, you know, is in the movie. You know, a, I mean, he's in the movie for a, like the second half, but the second half, he's he's major. He's in the movie, but you keep Jeff cutting, Goldblum. you keep cutting back and forth. Um, yeah. So, but this movie is told from different. It's a bunch of different characters that at the very end, ultimately, all, they all you know, they all die. Being, well, not everyone dies. I mean, Bill Pullman is, doesn't not. Bill Pullman live? Yeah, he does. He lives. Randy. Harvey dies. <clears throat> right. He dies. Um, Randy Quaid dies. Judd Hirsch mm. lives because he's in the sequel. So does uh, Jeff Goldblum. He's in the sequel. And then that's it. Everyone, they, they pretty much, like Vivica A. Fox lives. Yeah, but is she in the sequel? And Will Smith is in the, is she in the sequel? I don't know. Robert Loja. Is Vivica A. Fox in the sequel? Cause the son is the son, the the guy who plays like the son, grown up son the of Stan Miller. The son, yeah, the son character is in the movie, right? Yeah, I think that's as far as I know. Who him and play, who him, plays and, him? him and Thor's brother. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who plays him. I just remember. I think I saw half of it, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna watch the rest of this." <laughs> it's like, that's how I felt when I watched the Card Counter. What's that? That's uh, <laughs> it's a movie with uh, the Watermelon uh, actor who played Moon Knight. Oscar Isaac. Oh. Yeah. oh, that movie's horrible. Is it? What's bad? What's so yeah. bad about it? Everything. It's a slow. It's it's a Martin it's a, Scorsese movie it's a too. Slow, it's a slow burn. It, no, not no burn. <laughs> it's just slow die. Oh, is it a Scorsese film? Yeah. Uh, it's horrible. So, so it's the old people like punching each other. <laughs> it was horrible. It was oh, boring. Uh, the son of Shaft. He plays. Will Smith's son. That doesn't uh, help me out. I don't know what that is. Uh, Jesse T. Usher. Did you ever see Sh Sh Shaft, the new Shaft yeah, with but, his son? Yeah, but it was very... It was very uh, he's on know. The Boys. He's he's uh, the speedster on Boys. You ever see the... You don't watch The Boys? Oh, you're stupid. You should be watching The Boys. I haven't. I haven't. Does anyone Invi here watch In The Boys? Invincible was so good. I was like, I didn't get a chance to watch that. You gotta watch The you, Boys. I know you saw Invincible. You, you gotta saw watch Invincible. The Boys, though. I don't wanna watch cartoons. I'd rather watch The Boys. First of all, Invincible's awesome whatever mm. <sighs> it was awesome it was violent and awesome yeah and jake and jake is mowgli over here the boys uh-huh someone just woke up so <laughs> mowgli so so you get uh so that you get the horrible sequel that kind of if you think about it kind of sullies this movie but this movie isn't the isn't like again, that's only if you've watched the sequel yeah well, that's true that's your only if you watch the and I would recommend I would recommend do not watch the sequel. <laughs> do not watch it at all. <laughs> it literally feels like 
like the room got colder and then you know the spirit of someone is gonna come at me now Uh oh (laughs) (laughs) it's like a horror movie (laughs) yeah but but ultimately like independence day like yeah being a roland Roland emmerich movie it feels like it feels like a roland emmerich movie like at that point because all the movies he's done feel the same they all feel the same like independence day like there's been no change to any of the movies that he's made i mean other than the smaller movies that he's done that aren't the big budget tenpole like the the world destruction movies right so so you so like ultimately like (laughs) wow put him down put him down uh but it's like independence day itself I think it's had a bunch of releases. It even it will even re-release in 3D. Yeah, because I want to make that more money. I it's one of those movies that I wouldn't even go and rewatch. No, like it's, in 3D it's, it's like it's like, like when that. they re-release Avatar again because they're like, oh, no, but know, Endgame, but, but, Endgame made too much money. I no, but Avatar was already in 3D. Like it it was made, primarily made to be in 3D, but Independence Day wasn't in 3D at the time, right? There was this is before the 3D, the 3D yeah. craze came out, and then the, the movie was re-released in 3D. And again, it's it's just one of those movies that I don't think I would. I would I wouldn't want to watch in 3D and I I could I'll revisit if it's on TV and but I just won't go out of my way to rewatch Independence Day. It has fine performances. It it the special effects is okay. This the the movie overall is just it was made All right. Yeah, it was made to be like that popcorn summer. They yeah. they, summer they made it, the actresses movie made chicken salad out of chicken shit cuz the script was not great. Was this Chicken Run? You know who was in Chicken Run? Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. <laughs> yeah. Circle back. Mel Gibson. Gotcha. He's still alive. Is he? Father Stu. He's in Father Stu. Oh, that's right. He is. Did you watch that? I haven't seen no, it. No, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it and, yet. I, I need to watch it. Yeah, me too. I guess. I guess. <laughs> but, uh, but on that note, guys, if you haven't if you haven't seen Independence Day, and it is July 4th, might as well check it out. It's Big Willy Weekend. You know, don't get slapped. Uh, you know, the, the, the sound is good in this movie, though. The well, sound yeah. is still good. Was it... Was it uh, there was a Lucas Lucas film like there was a THX. I I don't I don't Dolby. I don't, I know it's not Dolby Atmos because I wasn't it's not around. Dolby. Right yeah. Oh, I'm so mad. Was it DTS? DTS? No, I don't think so. Ah, oh, well. No. So then, wasn't that great? Uh, it's a regular file. No, but but one. but but the sound the sound just it just it's so it gets you because you're like oh what's gonna oh it's gonna it's I don't know it's, it's just explosions. If I want to yeah. hear if I want to hear good explosions, I'll just watch Transformers. That has better explosion sounds. You know, all that stuff. Special effects. Another boring movie. How dare you? The first one's the first one's good. Hey, Bumblebee's good. The first one's good. Bumblebee's good too. That's it. After that, I I I don't have to watch any of the other turns. I'll just watch the first one and Bumblebee. Sam Winwicky. Wait, Wicky? Yeah. Yeah, but on that note, guys, if you guys haven't Ooh, seen uh, Independence Day, uh, I definitely would say, yeah, check it out if it's on TV. It's July 4th. Don't watch the sequel. <laughs> don't watch the sequel. But yeah. there's other, there's the after this movie, Will Smith way, made way way better like summer blockbusters, Men Will in Smith. Black, Men in Black. That's all I'm gonna say. Men in Black. Twenty five years. That's that's a better movie than this one. And you know why? Because also Tommy Lee Jones is in it, and he plays a real good part in that movie. Yeah, especially when he stabs again uh, on his head. No wait, no, he gets stabbed in the head. Never mind. Spoiler alert. Wow, you just ruined the whole movie. Uh, and you get and you get Vincent D'Onofrio as the bad guy in Men in Black. Mm-hmm. So that's the again, Lager. Lager. Vincent D'Onofrio. He's still Lager. alive. Is he's he He's still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Uh-huh. You're the only one that's dead inside. Yeah. Oh, sugar water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, so it's a, so if you guys again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Vinny. Watching. This is Ozzy. And Yeager. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Good afternoon.